Welcome to Baseball Guys, I'm Ray Flowers. The big news today as we get ready for the holiday break is that Matt Caps has chosen to close for the Nationals versus set up for the Cubs or the Mets. Uh, late last night, early this morning, Caps agreed to a one-year deal with the Nationals for $3.5 million. Most people think he'll take over the closing role there over Brian Bruni, who was also brought in this offseason. Uh, Caps choosing the money, choosing to reestablish his value over choosing the chance to win. I guess you got to give him some credit for doing that. He's going to help to try to raise the Nationals to a level of prominence in a 500 record in 2010. As far as Caps goes, uh, $3.5 million is not that much money to pay for a, p- a pitcher like himself that can be very effective. You look at what Caps did last season. He set a career high with his strikeout rate of over 7.5 per nine innings. He also had a career best save total of 27. Issue with Caps last year was that he really was beaten by the long ball. He gave up 10 home runs last year after giving up only 10 in 2007-2008. That number should regress, and with it, his ratio should come down. There's also the fact that Caps was extremely unlucky last year. He had a 370 batting average on balls and play mark. His career mark is 299. You've got to figure that will also come down. And for a man who's prided himself for a long time on his pinpoint control, the fact that he walked so many batters last year, you kind of have to look at that as a little hiccup. So good signing by the Nationals. Looks like they're going to get a fairly cheap guy to, to work the ninth inning. Cap should be able to reestablish his value and then hopefully heading into the offseason in 2010, get that big money deal that those big closers can rack up.